In this video, we do something that we've never done before in Guild Rock. We actually build a base. Let's get into the video. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Captain Eggnog with me, Captain John, and me, Only Eggnog. And welcome to episode two of season seven on Guild Rock. Yep, it's episode two. And in the last video, we ended up building a uh, mob spawner. Um, and in between videos, actually, Sam gave both of us an elytra, which I think is amazing. Fully maxed out. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to buy one or like work for one which honestly thank you so much sam and also we've done a, some enchanting out of video there you can just see my toes i also enchanted my boots also we got tons of diamonds we went off camera mining you know? uh yeah we got we got quite good amount of diamonds uh captain only has fortune two on his pick which is kind of unfortunate um i don't know why he did a level 30 enchantment didn't get fortune three but anyway as we promised in the last video we will be doing some base work in this video, which I'm actually really excited for. I'm actually gonna also get rid of a little bit of this dirt, because it's a little annoying. So we've already built the base in a creative uh, world, and we've got it all planned out. Everything's all like built up already. We have some pictures we're gonna base this off of, um, and we are gonna actually just uh, get into it. We've spent a lot of time out of video gathering materials, um, and yeah, we're just gonna get to base building. So our plan for this base is actually to have kind of like a, um, wall-like structure all around the outside and the inside is just gonna be like i don't know we're gonna have plants for the inside and yeah i honestly don't know how else to explain it's just gonna be like this giant big wall just going around the perimeter it's gonna have towers in each of the four corners it's all gonna be a square it's gonna be really big we're planning on having it go very far out this is kind of how everything's gonna go we're gonna do something like this and on the sides of each of these uh stone things we're actually gonna have spruce pillars coming up um we've also made church had like a lot of great decoration to this as well so this looks really plain right now but in here we're gonna be mixing like andesite polished andesite cobblestone here we're gonna be mixing a bunch of different stuff as well it's actually it actually looks really really nice and this is gonna be the path that's basically just like sort of leading up to the bridge that eggnog and i designed and as you saw in the last video and right now i'm just gonna show you an example of how the wall will, will look um so i'm just gonna like generally build them out of stone then i'm gonna break some of the stone and just replace it with stuff like uh the andesite polished andesite and cobble i'm just gonna go ahead put some andesite around yeah and this is just like generally how i uh build this kind of thing it's very simple very easy you just have to like kind of dot it around make it a little little bit randomized. Um, yeah a little randomized then what i'm also gonna do is have polished andesite touching each andesite block so that's kind of it for the andesite then i just like go around and every so often place a piece of cobblestone I'll just put in like two or three pieces doesn't have to be a lot um because it's just supposed to look a little run down so i'll just then place one more here and boom that is that wall and you can see it actually looks really nice really textured i really like it there are going to be two iron bars right here and i'm also going to do some texturing with this real quickly so let me just go get the materials for that one annoying part of the texturing of the wall is i will need tons of decorated oh, yeah. pots and they do not stack whatsoever um i won't actually need tons but i'll need quite a bit I'll also need barrels and dark oak logs um but yeah this is gonna be so you can't even like quick select them oh my goodness anyway i've gotten a few pots um so let's just start decorating these little pillars oh also i just realized these are supposed to be stripped logs along here it just has more texture you can see it looks pretty nice um i'm also adding dark oak just because it's like slightly a different color when it's stripped but it's still a little bit noticeable and these um uh, decorated pots these are just gonna be for like run down parts of these uh, little pillars so i don't have to use them tons i'll use one here so you could see it's kind of nice like kind of run down look i think it looks really nice all right so now i'm walling off the side of the pathway that eggnog and i designed because we found that adding like campfires on the side sort of gives it a little texture and um just changes things up a little bit made a little oopsie these pillars actually need to go five blocks up so i'll just add an additional block here i'll actually make this one dark oak there that should be good and then here i will add two of um two more strip wood with stairs coming off of them like that then under them we're also gonna have slabs and right in the middle i'm pretty sure i use a trap door i just have to craft one and we'll put a trap door right there and that's how it's generally gonna look 
look and on the bottom here it looks a little plain so i'm just gonna add a few uh stairs right here with trap doors coming along here um and i'm also gonna get some pots and put some azalea tree saplings in here and just kind of decorate this bit a bit and now i just have to go and blot around birch slabs which eggnog added for a little bit of more contour and i just realized i don't have any of the saplings so i'm gonna have to take some moss blocks and just start bone mealing this to get them oh look wow th three that's actually pretty good and i think it looks pretty good and then on these trap doors i think i just added three buttons on each trap door three stone buttons to be precise and it's looking pretty good right now and yeah that is generally how um things will be looking i'm also gonna craft some more uh spruce stairs and those will actually come along right there and there and slabs will also be coming off of those stairs right there and some additional slabs will be also placed over here this will be um kind of something that's holding up the pathway above it's just kind of like a nice roof topping it'll look really nice you guys will see how it turns out in just a bit but that's generally how it's gonna look and i think it looks really nice it's gonna look way better trust us all right so right now what i'm working on is the front entrance which is actually eggnog and i have tons of pictures from a creative world that that we designed everything in so i'm just basically referencing that and i'm basically going to be copying it almost exact and i also have to craft a bunch of uh hanging signs which means i'm gonna have to strip a bunch of uh oak these are gonna go uh like well they would go here but these are actually not supposed to be stairs but blocks so there's gonna be hanging sign under that block this block and also under this trap door and coming off those hanging signs will be <coughs> some lanterns and it actually looks really nice at the end and it just adds more more, you know, it adds lighting to the build and it also, like I just said, it also looks nice. So yeah, might as well put these in right there. And there will also be blocks behind it as part of the wall in the inside. Um, so you won't be able to see through it in the end, but it still looks really nice. And basically right now we're just gonna, well, I'm just gonna copy this, um, just like another time down this way. And yeah, we'll see how this turns out. There's the wall textured. That's the second wall down. Captain did just remind me that we do need brown terracotta as part of the wall to texture it. So I'm heading all the way back to spawn where there is a mesa and I'm just gonna grab some. Well, I've gathered the brown terracotta. Now it's time to head back home. Now I'm going going to be continuing placing these spruce trap doors and then placing oh placing buttons on top of them all right so basically the way this brown terracotta will work is literally just to add texture as you can see starting around next to the wood looks pretty good and it just kind of blends in it's a nice color blends in with the spruce and everything so yeah i think i like it and unfortunately as the wall starts coming out this way we will have to leave it floating um, but do not worry, we will have it terraformed and it should look pretty awesome. We haven't even terraformed it in a creative world because that's going to be like tons and tons of work. But yeah, hopefully we could actually get that going at some point and hopefully it looks awesome. All right, now that I'm done with the, um, entranceway, the middle bit of it, I'm going to be working on the other side of the walls. Continuing what Eggnog has started on the other side, but on this side. All right, guys, so Eggnog and I finally finished the front wall, and um, it looks pretty nice. We built, like, eight walls extending off both sides yeah. from this uh, main entrance here. Captain's actually bought lanterns, and he's added them all, and it <laughs> actually looks really, really nice. What we're planning to get into now is building the towers going up on either side of this uh, these walls, or this main wall. And and then we're gonna build um we're gonna build literally a mirror copy of the wall right here just to be like that uh inside just for perspective i'm all the way up at y157 and you guys can see both ends of the wall it's pretty big but when we build this uh the inner wall oh, it yeah. will be slightly smaller actually a, a lot smaller but that's all right so this little tower will start off as it'll be like a circular like base and the actual tower we won't be able to build because we need mud for that like oh, lots yeah. of mud and we don't have mud and we we'll also have to improvise a little bit because we've had a change of plans from what the original design was uh so that's gonna be a little annoying to build but it's fine we should be able to get it uh and yeah we're gonna start with creating a circle right now tree's gotten in the way so i'm gonna have to cut this down Alright guys, so I finished the circle and now I'm going on top of the scaffolding to see size comparison to see if it looks sort of the size reasonable for the walls and how big the base would be. Alright, so I think that looks fine just the way it is. So now I think Eggnog and I just have to sort of maybe do a little bit of terraforming, but that might come last and sort of just build a little outline 
um, level with the ground of our wall and sort of build above and below that. Yeah, well now I have to break all this cobblestone away and replace it with spruce. And we also gotta strip this wood. So this is a general base of the uh, circular tower that we have going on and we're gonna keep building up um, and seeing how everything turns out. Now we're gonna do is uh, line the inside with some cobblestone which is also gonna have um, some mossy cobble in it just to add some um, uh, contrast in there as well. And this cobble will go up for three more layers so one two three and just go up like this but i actually can't do that right now because i ran out of cobble and on this corner right here there will actually be some spruce logs which will also oh i fell but these will also be stripped could do the same thing on this side and strip these as well do another pillar of wood here another pillar of wood here and lastly one right here time to go get some cobble craft some into mossy cobble and give some of what i mine to eggnog for building and thanks to that cobblestone captain gave me i can finish this up now we can get to decorating and to start i'm gonna place some dark oak uh st upside down stairs here and i'm also gonna go and place a bunch of stripped logs coming up and this will go one block above all this cobblestone and i'll actually be taking out a lot of this wood and switching it out for some brown terracotta and that makes it look pretty nice these uh logs at the corner need to go up one block higher as well time to grab some bamboo wood craft it into bamboo slabs so we could then install the flooring on the top but for now stairs do need to go on top of this as well and we're also going to do that exact same thing on this side of the wall so three upside down stairs with a bunch of spruce logs going up and of course i'll have to strip all those and we'll have to break out a bunch of that and replace that with a bunch of brown terracotta and we could place the rest of the stairs right here and stairs will also go here and that could be accompanied by some trap doors along here and that should basically that be that part done we just have to uh texture this uh cobblestone wall which literally just uses andesite and mossy cobble so i'm just gonna dot that around now that we're done with that i can go at the bottom and sort of extend the cobblestone going all the way down. And I finished decorating the outside, which actually looks pretty good. And I guess I could start dotting around some mossy cobble on this lower wall. All right, now that the lower wall is built, I think I'm going to go on the inside behind this wall and place in the flooring that's going to be level with the rest of the build. All right, guys, now I can say the flooring for the top and bottom is officially done. So now that Eggnog and I are done with that tower over there, I'm just going to be building the platform that's going to be taking us to different towers. Yeah, so that'll just be the walkway uh, inside of each wall um and i think after that we could either work on the interior of this tower it's or <laughs> Or start working on the uh, wall mirroring this one. And it's literally the exact same it was on this side. Also, guys, you can see from all the way up here, sort of like what Eggnog and I were talking about. We're going to basically mirror this wall right here on this side, on the other side, which is going to be the inside. And it's going to look really nice. And now because everything is literally the exact same for the rest of this uh, build, we are just going to get into a nice time lapse. <laughs> Alright guys, so I guess Eggnog and I can finally say that the front portion of our base is finally done. We've done the rest of the back wall as well as the uh, first half of the tower. 
I did just realize we are missing a few lanterns, but we'll get those eventually. Um, and yeah, as of right now, we are done with the entire front, and that would also conclude the episode for today. It was a really productive episode. I'm really glad we were able to start base building, and it actually is turning out very, very nice. I really like the way this is looking. In the next video, what we will be doing is actually doing some uh farm. We need farms to sort of do the little towers that go at each little like pillar at the corner yeah so the next episode will be farm episode um and as captain just mentioned that is mainly because we'd be needing farms for just like the towers going up on each of these little pillars that's because those might require mud and we don't have a mud at all and we need a mud farm for that so yeah that's what we're going to be doing we're also going to be building a lot of farms that will just help us progress in the game and eventually we'll be also building a guardian farm so you know that's going to be a lot of fun also guys before we end the video we have a little bug that we found to show you in 1.20.20 so if you put your elytra on and you just run around some flat even ground and just click a each time or click jump each time you hit the ground eventually eventually you do this like super jump and you go flying it's absolutely crazy if i go in third person i could show you it a little better so i'm just clicking a or jump look at that i was just clicking jump each time oh my like, <laughs> you guys saw on my Dude. screen he went flying yeah it is it's honestly a crazy bug it's a little annoying but it's also a yeah. really cool bug to do you could basically take off without a uh, firework rockets which is kind of nice i mean look at that you go like super high and just keep flying it's i like, still haven't figured out how to do it but it's like four blocks high oh it's, i did it's it crazy <laughs> But anyway, that's the end of this video for today. We hope you guys enjoyed watching, and we hope to see you guys in our next video.